cold here in steam culture. I'm freezing my biscuits off, but I'm gonna plow through it and we're gonna talk about our continuing theme of steamships. Now what you're looking at here is the USS Cairo, and this is one of seven iron-covered gunboats that were created by the North during the Civil War to take control of the, or regain control of the lower Mississippi River. Now each one of them was named after a city. This one was named after Cairo, Illinois. Now these were some very large uh, boats. They were sort of wood construction covered in iron. Now why would you need an iron-covered gunboat? Well, with the uh, invention of the exploding shell in like 1822, I believe, the practice was to fire it horizontally into the wooden hulled ships of the time. It would penetrate the hull, explode inside, killing a lot of crew, causing a lot of damage and destroying the gun platform. So they started to create these iron covered gunboats. Now technology at the time really only allowed for about two inches of iron plate so they would stack them on top of each other. So you can see there's lots of guns, usually about 13 guns of varying you know, sizes on, on the deck, but they were powered by five uh, steam fire tube boilers, which uh, powered a steam engine with a large piston that would turn a paddle wheel. Interesting note, the Cairo was powered by an internal paddle wheel. At this time, uh, the internal screw propeller, which was below water, we talked about that um, two sessions ago, I believe, was powering most of the steamships, but the Cairo was still powered by a paddle wheel and was the fastest in the fleet. So older was better in this case. Now what they would do is they would pack a little more metal around the, uh, around the boilers to protect them. So the stacks and the boilers were favorite targets um, of enemy uh, guns. Carrow's boilers ran on coal and could produce 140 PSI of steam. If they ran low, they could run on firewood, which was plentiful along the riverbanks where the boats patrolled. Now, the Cairo was sunk in 1862 by a floating mine, the first of its kind. It was remotely detonated by two soldiers on the banks. Now, after it was sunk, it was raised and restored, and it now lives at National Military Park in Vicksburg, Mississippi. You can Google that. They have a great website with lots of information on the Cairo. Well, I hope you enjoyed our continuation of our steamship series. I'll have something new for you next week. Hopefully it warms up in here just a little bit. I don't know where you're at, but it's cold here. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for next week's episode, come find us on social media. I'm sure we have some great content that you would enjoy, and I'll have some for you next week. See you then.